for today's little lunch review. We're going to Paddlefish today, so we'll bring you guys inside, let you know how the food is. So, they even have Buzz Pop cocktails on your walk-in. And Paddlefish. All right, so we checked in. This is a little waiting area, so it looks like that's how to get upstairs in the nice little boat restaurant. Going through a little bit of the menu. A lot of fish, sandwiches, combinations. We're here for lunch. Seafood boil as well. Ash just put the little brunch specials as well. All right, so right over here we have some of the drinks. So you have the beers on the right. You have a little bit of the cocktails. They have other kind of sangria type drinks on the left. And yeah. All right, Ashley. And we got a nice little booth over here. There's some forks behind Ashley as well. So we're going to order some menu items and we'll let you know how it is. All right, so Ash, Ashley's still working on hers. I think I'm going to get the fried clam roll because I haven't had one of those in quite some time. So whole belly, starter sauce, pickles, and a bun. So this is a shrimp pasta. I'm super excited to have it. Alex over there has his clam roll. How is it? I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it yet? <laughs> with, with potato chips. I don't know why. I just like potato chips more than fries. I do like that container at Thompson. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's really good. It reminds me of back home. Oh, uh, it reminds you of back home. Well, that's good. I'll get you. Yeah. I would say, you like a 9 out of 10. 9 it's out really of good. 10. I'm a big tartar sauce. It already comes pre done. As you can see, chips are a good thing. I didn't want french fries, so that's on me. I could have french fries, so. Yeah, we'll bring it over to Ashley. Now I have for this. Give Ashley right here. Ashley, what do you got there? Pasta. What kind of pasta? Shrimp pasta. All right, let me know how it is. As you can see, Ashley's pounding this out. This is my meal right here. And Ashley, how is it? I haven't gotten it to my mouth. You can try it out. I'm You're still going. Linguini, a little bit of vegetables. Is there any like seafood in there or no? Um, shrimp. Okay. And, um, the sauce is like crab broth. Oh, okay. So, so it is. It's really so basically, here's a good place to go for seafood, obviously. Yeah. And what would you rate your meal? Um, I'd give it a 9 out of 10 as well. 9 out of 10 as well? Yeah. All right. I really, I really like it. So we'll wrap this up. We will head on to dessert after this and then we'll give you guys the final thoughts at the end. So once again, fried clams in a nice little hot dog bun just like back home in New England. Then we get some nice chips over here as well. Really good meal. Ashley's still finishing hers out right now. Okay, Alex has now, now has his drink, the... Empress Mayan. Emper Mayan Empress? Empress yeah, Mayan? Mayan Empress. It has pineapple juice Passion in it. Fruit. Pineapple juice. It's got some tropical juices. Tropical juices. How is it? It's good. It's good? Is it the best you've ever had? Lemon peel in it. Is it the best you've ever had? It's up there. It's, it's up, up there? Not, not there yet, but it's up there. I give it 9 out of 10. I guess 9 really out of 10? Something to check out. I think overall everything here has been pretty consistent. Yeah. It's pretty good across the board, so yeah. we hope the dessert will stay the same way, and we'll give you our thoughts on it. Woo! So one really cute thing. We were waiting here at the table. We were just finishing up our dinner, and our waiter actually noticed that Ashley had a cute little shirt that matched his pin, so he was nice enough to hand it to Ashley. So I'm very excited. That was awesome. That's really... That's really nice. I don't think we've ever, we've ever seen that, but what a coincidence, right? I know. So that's crazy. awesome. So as you can tell, I think both of us really enjoyed our meal, especially one of us. I loved it. I think there's literally nothing left, so really good on lunch options here. It's a lot to choose from, as you can see by the menu. I know, I know for a fact that this is also on dinner. This is on dinner as well? I think that might okay. be on dinner as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it was as well, but really good options here for seafood-wise, so definitely a seafood place to check out. And dessert's on its way. So per Ash's request, we would like to split a dessert. So our option is going to be the chocolate creme brulee is what we're going to get. These are all your options. So pretty good amount of options. Anything different on the back? And you get some after drink, pretty much after lunch in this case. Cordial, scotch, bourbon, dessert, wines, brandy. So yeah, some alcohol. We're not going to get any, any more alcohol than what I got. My sister and mom would love this one, the pineapple upside down. Definitely a good amount of options. I've never thought this place had this much to kind of going for it, but... Flourless cake, a brownie milkshake. A lot of stuff here, and as we can tell, we're going to get the chocolate creme brulee, because nothing's better than a... Creme brulee! Quick thing to note, kind of the scenery in here, they have these nice little, what would you call them, plates? Yeah. Kind of different colored plates. Setup is really nice on the tables as well, so that's just kind of an empty setup. And then you also have the knife, knife the forks behind Ashley. 
which are all different colors. They're all slightly different. So we have our chocolate creme brulee here with Ashley. Let's move some of this stuff out. And you can let me know how it is. Ready? One sec, let me zoom in on this. Go. Ah, oh, you ruined it. Just kidding. So yeah, it looks really good. It's got some raspberries on it. Look at this. Let me know how it is. I mean, the consistency looks perfect. Thumbs up. Do I get a number? I'm gonna give it a 8.5. My favorite one still. A what? 9.5? 8.5, okay. My favorite one still the peppermint creme brulee. Okay, peppermint creme brulee is still your favorite, but this is very good as well, right? Yeah. All right, perfect. Bring it over to me. Okay, it is now Alex's turn. For the, the chocolate creme brulee. brulee. And I actually get to. What do you call this? For some of it. I actually it. get to break it. It's the first time. Okay, just eat it. Stop breaking and just eat it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take it with the raspberry. With the raspberry. Mm. How is it? What do you think? So warm too. Yeah, I know it's so warm. Really good. I yeah. give it a nine. Nine. A nine. Ten. Really good. I like the chocolate. This is good as the peppermint. Actually. Really, you like it as much as the peppermint? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's great, it is great. I just like how crunchy the top always is. Yeah. Not a creme brulee, but really good. And that's gonna do it, guys. So, paddlefish, place to check out. Final thoughts coming up. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching. As you can tell, we went to Paddlefish for lunch this past weekend. It was, it was surprisingly good. very good. We always see the boat. Let's it start with. This was saying that I made a mistake. That is not originally where so we wanted to go. So originally I was looking up a top 10 list in Disney Springs and it said the boathouse. And I sent to Ashley a picture of the boat and it said under it the boathouse. So she just saw a boat and ended up just picking paddle the fish. paddlefish. She was like, oh, it must be the, the one with boat. the boat. But it wasn't. You eat inside so of the boat. it'll be something to check out another time. We're going to be going through Disney Springs probably once every couple weeks, so. We'll, we'll add that to the to be done list, which is very long. Thank you for everybody that has made suggestions. We have a list of about 12 restaurants that we're about to hit soon. Yes. Once maybe. again, we try to do about Eventually. One, one restaurant a week, whether it be for lunch, dinner, or breakfast. So we try to hit one a week. So that's kind of the pace we're going. So we have enough content going forward. And so that way we also can pace ourselves because there's a lot of food sometimes when you come out of some of these restaurants. Yes. But Paddlefish, excellent place for seafood. I was really impressed with the fried clam roll that I had because it's coming from New England. That's a huge staple and it's very hard to find down here at certain restaurants. I don't haven't seen it except for there, oh, no. but I really enjoyed it there. The ambiance was awesome. You're in a boat. Yes. It doesn't move. We were in a boat. We were in the back by the paddle, but we couldn't film we it. We couldn't film it. There was a huge there party were a behind bunch us. Bunch of people. It was marathon weekend this past weekend yes. for anybody that did run. Congratulations, great job. And yeah, it's kind of an event that they have. Every so often, right? Yeah. For the marathon, Disney yeah. marathon. And there was a table that just finished the marathon, had a couple kids at it as well. So we couldn't turn around and take a no. video of the outside. So it's a little bit more condensed than our normal food reviews because we were kind of limited with what we could shoot. But there were some really cool decorations. As you can see, they had the plates on the wall. You had some of the forks, the forks. that all were different in one way or another. And Ashley even got a pin from our waiter, which I was did. very awesome. It matched her little Minnie Mouse part shirt. And it was the exact same thing. I was so, so happy. We really appreciated that as well. That was an awesome kind of touch to get from there. And yeah, I loved my pasta. The pasta looked really good. It had, cause, especially because of the like, crab broth sauce thing. Yeah, because it had like, like, that was an left. extra layer. So, and really our dessert good. was obviously really good as well. Still not as good as... Chocolate creme brulee, but it wasn't as good as the peppermint in Ash's opinion. No. I thought it was on par with it. It's very good. I would say if you haven't gone to Paddlefish, really great place for lunch. We haven't gone for dinner, but they do offer very similar options probably bigger portions during din dinner size so that's I'd something to think so. about but i would check it out if you haven't if you're a big seafood person it's a no-brainer in my opinion no-brainer so overall check out paddlefish it's in disney springs now what's, it's what's a good location the big ship. it's a big ship <laughs> what else can i say for a location it's, it's right across from t-rex Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions for restaurants that you'd like to see going forward, we have a huge list, but we can still keep adding, I promise. It's Woo! in my Excel sheet. I have we'll a whole eventually list. eventually do them. 12 or 13 of them, so leave them below. We'll keep adding to that list, and it'll give us some kind of options to pick every week or so. Now, one thing I will say, 
because St. Patrick's Day is coming up. March, we already do have Raglan Road that is booked on our kind of to-do list. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Alex. I'm Ashley. And this is Disney's Party, Party of Two. two.